This is all about breaking, breaking ground and the new EVA suits. Um, I need to show you. Anyway, it'll be easy. We're just we're just gonna pop a craft that uh, holds two Kerbals. We're gonna make sure we have one male, one female. So I'll put in. Uh, you also have to have the new suits. Uh, I'm gonna put in a female other than Valentina because it looks like she has a different IVA, possibly a different colored EVA suit. Now. <clears throat> They have this uh, glowing ring around them for beautification, and uh, I changed that. I didn't like it, so I changed it. It was a default orange, and what I did is I changed it for uh, kind of a blue aqua for the boy, and like a clamshell pink for the girl. Um, I actually, I'm hoping there's a mod that can do this, but there's not for now. Boys are one color, females are the other color. Now, the files you need to go to to change this is called Squad Expansion Serenity Parts Pre-Built. Those are each names of folders, and that's the suggest... Sig <sighs> that's the order of the parts, the sequential order of the folders. Anyway, so it starts off in game data, then it's squad expansions because this is DLC expansion. It's called Serenity. That's the keyword for uh, that's the code name for Breaking Ground 1.7.1, the newest DLC. You're going to go into parts, which I guess it's a suit part, and pre built. Pre built parts. So if you just look up pre built, and if there's any Kerbal Association, there you are. And you're going to see two folders one, says female form let me see exactly what it says Kerbal EVA female future okay the one that does it does it does not designate gender is just does not designate gender so um, female future and just Kerbal future Kerbal EVA future that's for the male so what you need is a text editor if you that you, Windows does not supply one so you go to the store you get one I use Notepad Plus and you go in and in the bottom you'll see the red blue yellow which it's actually uh, uh, cyan magenta and uh, oh, what's the other one Luan 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 um, yellow it's escaping me anyway. Without being super technical, it's red, blue, and yellow. Unless you're in the printer world, but you can replicate any color you want just by changing the number of values. If the total of the sum is greater than one, it's going to be brighter than if this total of the sum, that's the three added together, is less than one, it's going to be a little softer. So the male, I have more than one, and the female, I have less than one. You'll be able to see the light intensity. I hope I, you don't make a liar of me, but let's just go ahead and launch so you know what I'm talking about. Um, I apologize for not opening folders and showing you the text editor um, and the color values, but hey, look around. Um, and then in my Notepad Plus, you can't save as existing um, file. It doesn't work. So you actually have to save as a CGF file, a configure CFG. Sorry, a configure file. If you don't, if you save as anything else, Kerbal's going to ignore it. If you save it as a Note 2 document, Kerbal's going to ignore it and reload the old one. And you're going to say you didn't do anything. So remember to save as config CFG you actually have to do that manually so let's go EVA drop to the ground okay I'm gonna go right back and I'm gonna EVA Jeb and we're gonna right to the ground we're gonna start smashing into each other whoa he's uh, jumping on her so anyway so I'm back to her and uh, now I'm back to the ship one more Anyway, let's present her, and then we're going to turn on the lights. Oh, excuse me, that is him. 
see the nice blue color you probably can't see the aqua in it but that kind of gives it a soft little touch it's a it's a 17 percent aqua value to the uh, rest blue and the total is 106 i believe um, now let me switch to the female and I actually like playing females better um, for some reason I'm not sure why a textury place I used to give everyone different haircuts and different hair colors sometimes we had different suit colors I like that <clears throat> but let's 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 look at her out ah, did you see the lighting effect he looked at us so this only works when their lights are on and she I didn't want to go pink even though you could call this pinkish but this is about a 90 value total combined and I call it clamshell now what what did my artist friend call it um something in periwinkle <laughs> so <laughs> the boy is periwinkle and the girl is I, I I wish I could remember I I I should have actually written it down shame on me Anyway, so it's not too hard to change these values, and if you ever wanted to get into uh, looking at code and changing one, this is one where you can't do too much damage to the game, and you don't don't worry about saving your save the original file before you'd make the change. No, no, just write down the numbers on a piece of paper, and and it'll only be if you can't put it back. And it's not too hard. It's just one file, save as. Um, you can yank the old one out. Um, you will have to overwrite the old file. When it says save as, and you, you have CFG, right? It's going to say, do you want to overwrite the old file? And if the color values are the only thing you changed, then you'll be all right. Um, what would white be? Uh, 30 in each value I think 33 33 33 and then you should just get pure white um, purple is red and blue um, orange is a combination of yellow and green I noticed their default orange used all three colors blue the least like just a little smidgen of blue mostly red less yellow and just a smidgen of blue and You'll, you'll see those numbers. If you're interested in originality, you just write them down and change them back. You can change them around, experiment. And if you really have to, you can download a mod called Aviation Lights and also Surface Mounted Lights. And those lights allow you to change value. And uh, dang, if I would have put a light on, I could show you. Um, actually, let's return real quick and look at that. Um, so I'm going to revert the flight to vehicle assembly. And if, if, you, if, you, if you're not into trial and error and you just want to get it done or you're super nerdy artistic type and you have to get it just right, slap on the aviation light. Okay. Turn it on. Why is my aviation light not working? Alright, I have just installed some mods, so obviously one mod has interfered with another. I didn't realize this, so I'm going to put this one on. Oh good, this one's not interfered with, so, so you can see the values here. Let's turn it on. So, um, lens brightness, turn that all the way down and it'll show it to you right on the lens and take away the reflectivity of it. So basically turn them all down. Turn everything down but blue. That's what blue looks like. You add some green, you can have that. You get a little bit of red. You know, you want purple, solid purple. Probably go equal part red and blue. Now that's gonna be too bright. So you can go 50-50 adjust the uh, intensity to it and you can see how if I want white I just make them all equal ok 
and I should probably actually do a suit all white and see how that looks. Um, right now I'm just interested in the colors, but I think white would be a very good choice. Um, anyway, so these are simple mods I, I have to win. Um, <coughs> small tweaks to park manager. I, I don't know who the culprit is that is uh, interfering with this mod, but until I installed just two other mods. So anyway, generally the rule with mods is one at a time, make sure they're working, run a mission, do it again. And if you don't really need them, you shouldn't overload your machine with mods. Now, when we had 32-bit, and if you're running 32-bit, that's absolutely imperative. Absolutely. Um, actually, more mods are more trouble in 32-bit. Just, it's crazy. But 64 is better, but we still only get two cores, so you still have trouble with the super large, ultra complex ships and some of these guys that put YouTube videos up that show you these amazing wow things. <laughs> These things, these ships fly apart and they have to do like three or four takes and they also have to install other mods that are cheats. Like, uh, don't let physics affect this part. Don't let physics affect this part. So, they really have an unstable craft that's being cheated together with cheat glue. Anyway, so the only mods I like to install are ones that don't actually, we call it voodoo magic. They don't actually change any of the physics. They're usually just about beautification and uh, maybe informational assistance. Um, I mean, I've seen mods that'll draw nodes for you, and that's okay, I guess. But I remember I never did like Mech Jeb because, to me, it didn't force me to learn the process, and I thought then we were just achieving without learning. So I felt like I was just a guy pushing buttons, and it felt like it was a work without an understanding. And once you get a great under understanding, and so anyway, I recommend anyone go try to change the colors. And you can use this to kind of see. And um, let's see. Um, when I created the clam shell, I think I did. Something like 15 blue. And then this was like 35. And then this was like uh, 50. I can't remember exactly. It was something like this though. Like 53 here. 25. And 12 and a half. Which we can't do here. So I'm going to go 15. Now I'm going to go 10. It doesn't quite look like the color. So I'm going to go ahead and launch this. If I would have thought of it, I would have done that before we even came. And... Alright, it looks like all we're getting is reflection and we have to put our hand on it. That's because our lens brightness is all the way down. Um, so let me send out Frankfurt. Now, if, if, if you want to turn the lights on on the keyboard and not reach up and click that button, it's the U button. The L does something else. So, to me, that's not the same color. So I'm not sure if my advice about using that is correct, but you can become, you can get approximate. And of course, one thing is, is I can't remember the color values that I used to come up with this clamshell. I was doing a trial and error, and I said a little more of this and a little less of that, and it popped up, and I said, I love it. <laughs> so I may have actually started here, and then added a little of this and taking a little of that away. Um, I really don't know, but but um, that's the fun about sometimes getting into the code architecture. It makes the game gives you a little bit of ownership 
it makes a little bit yours and uh, anyway, just makes you feel better when you play too and see these things happen you get to say I did that and it makes you happy so and it also makes you more capable now you know how to op pop open folders open a text editor save as a config file um, you can do it right in the folder or you can do it on the desktop and shove it back in the right folder with one extra step but remember pre-built serenity pre-built that's your goal um, the, the whole shebang is a Kerbal Space Program game data squad expansion serenity parts pre-built you follow each of those folders down or just search for the word pre-built and it'll pop up behind the serenity parts order so serenity parts pre-built anyway thank you very much for watching and uh, I'm not sure if this is just a post or if I'll test it but if I choose to post it after uh, review, uh, thank you very much for watching have a great day now